Albert Wesker was no ordinary child. Along with other children with higher intellect, Albert was taken at a young age to serve as a test subject for Project W. Project W was administered by Oswald Spencer, president of Umbrella Corp, and its purpose was to create a race of humans with superior genes. Oswald had a great distaste of the human race and believed their only true purpose was for war, order, and rebirth. The children under Project W, along with Albert, were all given the last name Wesker and were recognized as Wesker children and thus Albert's real identity and origins are a mystery. These children were also forcefully injected with a prototype virus. Almost all of them died because of it, but only two Wesker children survived, one of them being Albert. In short, Albert was raised by Oswald Spencer in a laboratory and was made to believe that he had one purpose, to bring about a new world, a new superior race of human. But perhaps raising Albert Wesker under the belief that he was superior to all was Spencer's biggest mistake. The Wesker children were entrusted with endless potential. Are you saying I was manufactured? I was to become a god. <laughs> Creating a new world with an advanced race of human beings. The right to be a god. <laughs> is now mine. The right to be a god. You, only one truly capable of being a god, deserves that right. However, many events occurred in order for Albert Wesker to take full control and kill his mentor. At only 17 years of age, Wesker was employed at an umbrella lab where he met fellow employee William Birkin. The two became close friends and were eventually transferred to the Arclay facility, the location that revolved around the events of Resident Evil 1. William and Albert were supposedly researching a vaccine for the Ebola virus, but in truth, were researching the effects of it and how it can be manipulated. Their research on the Ebola virus led them to develop the T-virus, the virus that spread and caused the first zombie outbreak. And eventually, William Birkin had developed the G-virus, an even more powerful virus compared to the T-virus. Spencer was very pleased at Albert's work, but he had his suspicions. Albert was then tasked by Spencer to act as a double agent for Umbrella and joined STARS a group that was hot on the trail for Umbrella's true and horrifying research. This is where Wesker first met Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, and others. Because Wesker was raised as a test subject, he saw the STARS members as perfect test subjects for Umbrella's newly developed creatures and led them to the Arclay facility. The STARS members became more and more suspicious of Wesker. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? I thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. And eventually, the truth was exposed. Chris! Jill? Wesker! I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place, and unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. The ultimate life form. Tyrant. You couldn't have been experimenting on people. No. Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. A 
although it was in fair karma that Wesker had died by the hands of his own co-creation, Wesker had other plans. I will never forget the cold, dark fingers of death reaching out for me. However, even that death was a necessary component of the big picture. The virus that Birkin had created brought me back from the brink of annihilation. When I awoke, hatred became my master. Wesker was resurrected and continued his mission. Wesker knew that because of the events in the mansion, as well as Raccoon City, Oswald Spencer was no longer fluid enough to become a leader. So he killed Spencer and took his kingdom to begin developing a new virus named Ouroboros. Albert Wesker was no longer interested in creating a superior race, but rather destroying the weak, leaving the strong to survive. The Ouroboros virus was developed for that purpose, to cause mass destruction and chaos around the globe, eventually leaving Albert, its creator, as the sole leader. Unfortunately for Albert, he was extremely egotistical. Being raised to believe you are special and invincible has its ups and downs. Chris Redfield and Sheva Alamore tracked Wesker's plot to disperse Ouroboros. I have Ouroboros. In less than five minutes, we'll reach the optimal altitude for missile deployment. Ouroboros will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. The ultimate villain of the Resident Evil franchise, Albert Wesker. Intelligent, powerful, and egotistical. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a suggestion for other lore videos? Comment down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more lore. Thanks for all the support everyone and as always, stay single.